The winner of the first Survivor competition is Rich. Congratulations, Rich. Congratulations. We all remember Rich. That's an iconic moment in reality TV history right there from season one, the finale of the hit CBS show Survivor. It has aired, listen to this, more than 23 years ago. And wow. guess what? It's still going strong, returning for a milestone. 45th season tomorrow night. And guess who's been at the top the whole time? Jeff Probst. He has been Survivor's host since the show's debut in May of 2000. Ooh. That is hard to do. You are the real Survivor. Only on, yeah, you are the real Survivor. <laughs> You're right, Tony. Only on CBS Mornings. Here's a preview of tomorrow's season premiere. This one's set in Fiji. Like it. I am obsessed with my tribe. I'm a Libra. And that's all about balance. And I feel like we have one of the most balanced teams. Like, our girls are all strong and, like, icy brooms next to me. So the vibes are just immaculate, like, for sure. All right, welcome to Survivor 45. <laughs> Mark it down. I don't know if I've ever seen this much energy. Yes, sirree. The vibes are immaculate. And guess what? I love that phrase. Yeah. Jeff Probst joins us now. You already saw him, but he's back again. Jeff, congratulations to you, number one. Yes. Number one the host whole time. That's hard to do. When you first heard the pitch 23 years ago, I know you couldn't have thought it's going to last 23 years. No. What did you think? Well, the, when I first heard it, that I wanted to be a part of it. You really wanted it? Why, why? For real. Because the concept still really interesting experiment. You can, you can lump all these shows and say they're reality shows, but they're all unique. And what's unique about Survivor is it really is this human adventure where you're dropped in a jungle and forced to survive with people that you're conspiring against. I feel the same way yeah. 23 years later. I still love it. Yeah, there's something wrong with your mic, so. Oh, well, Because we're live we TV. Go. Thank there you, Patty. Uh, now I'm yeah. in my element. Yeah, I like I this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you were saying, but you didn't think, you couldn't possibly have thought it would last 23 years, but you still love it today. But I, yeah. What did you think was going to happen with this? Well, show? I will tell you, after the first season premiered, the finale, after the, the clip yeah. you just showed with Richard Hatch, which we thought was the worst thing ever because he was a villain. We yeah. thought that's the end of our show. But I was certain in my wisdom we would get at least two more seasons because <laughs> it was so popular. Uh -huh. Never dreamed it would get 10 seasons or 20, let alone 45. I've read that you feel like, as host, you've watched a demonstration of the human spirit in each season. 100%. Right. How come? What do you see? Because you go out there with the lure of the game. So we designed this game to have you adapt like this. This is what happens on yes. Survivor. Your mic doesn't work, what do you do? Well, you get another mic. Some people are quick at that, others aren't. Mm. When it's over, what you realize, it, it wasn't about the game, it was about you and what you went through living in a jungle, conspiring against each other, playing detective. How's your emotional intelligence? Are you socially good? And I was saying to Gail before we started this that at the end of every season, every player goes, I cannot believe how much I changed. I'm a yeah. different human being. Wow. Yeah, and For you, better or worse? Yeah, for better or worse. Yeah. Almost you say always, that. But almost always for better because you're out there alone, no technology, no friends, stripped of everything, and you end up saying, wow, I love my wife more. I'm going to be a better uh -huh. parent. I'm going to quit my job, you know, whatever that thing is. Uh -huh. and, and you said that, and I, and I want to read it out loud okay. because it is pretty powerful. Nobody comes home from Survivor the same because the game forces you into situations that reveal your character, your fortitude, your drive, your inspiration, and it connects you back to the things that make you alive as a human. That's pretty good. Well, that's great. You said it. <laughs> I you did. Said it. Good. <laughs> you know, what's great about that is because this day and age, we lean on so many things. Yeah. yeah. Technology, our jobs, our friends, um, but we don't lean on ourselves 100%. enough. 100%. In this show, it really examines that. It, That's why it's so special. What you just said is, is it for me, which is it's amazing what you can do if you just get up off the couch and say, mm. I'll give it a go. Uh -huh. And that's what Survivor is testing you on. We were talking about the challenges. Yeah. I mean, you have these epic challenges that you can't imagine. You look at it and go, I'll never get up there. But you got people with you. They'll help you get up there. Yeah. And then when you, you get- You got it. We got it. We got it. And then when you do get up there, you go, I did it. Yes. Right. And then you go back to conspiring against the person <laughs> who just helped you. So, do you think it's changed you, Jeff? Ooh, yeah. The Good question. Yeah. Do you think it has? I w wonder who I would be without it. Really? Yeah, I think my wife and Survivor changed me a lot, just in terms of 
really understanding I'm a grain of sand in this world. I'm not yes. the center of the universe. Mm. Try to make the day better for the people you meet. Mm -hmm. And I too want to be tested. I want to put myself in unfamiliar environments to see, which is what we do creatively on the show. We take big risks. Are you more comfortable in, in these uncomfortable spaces? because of hosting this show? I think I'm more comfortable, yes, but I'm still uncomfortable. Hmm. And that's when I know I'm alive, is when I say, why did I say yes again to this? <laughs> yeah. But then you come out and you go, I'm glad I did. So tens of thousands of people for each season, they yeah. get up off the couch and they say, I wanna be part of it. That's Pick right. me next. Yeah. And one of the most enjoyable parts of being a producer on the show, in addition to host, is picking who actually becomes yeah. part of the tribes. What is the ideal candidate? Who are you looking for? It's a great question and almost impossible to answer because the answer is so simple. It really is an authentic human. You have to be compelling. Everybody thinks they are. Not yes. everybody <laughs> is. That's the thing. Everybody thinks they yeah. are, Jeff. Yeah. And I hear people say, I've applied 20 times and still haven't got on. And I say, well, it might be you. <laughs> it might be. But you're looking for somebody who has the drive to say, I'm going to go out here and play this game and I'm able to tell the story because one of the weird secrets of Survivor is the players are responsible for the storytelling. Yeah, right. yeah. We, we put a camera in front of them and we say, tell us what's happening. What are you thinking? What do you want to do? What are you going to do? What yeah. was done to you? Mm. So you have to be able to sort of engage, you know, with the camera. These oh. contestants, they, they fall into these roles, right? And, and they have titles that hang over their heads yeah. all season long. You know us. Oh, no. Just, just, just. Just would, go ahead and, and oh. the whole conversation. Give us, give us a title. Uh, you know, what would you think we would be on the show? Oh, man. Well, okay, you've got Gail, who, even if she wasn't Gail, she's going to be the one everybody's looking at first because mm. she kind of has this presence. Yeah. That's a tough thing on Survivor because yeah. Gail could win, which therefore means Gail might be first out because you, you two think look the athletic, at her. And... Don't you think the most athletic wins? No. No, no, no. it's all about no. diplomacy, Gail. It's, you've got to make, you've it's about make social. friends. It's and... about social? Yeah. Then I would win that. That's what I mean. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I, you, no, you might talk no, yourself out of the no, position. No, no, no. I, I actually don't think I could win it. I don't. <laughs> I, I actually don't think I could. What about Tony? What do you say, Tony? Could. Because I couldn't uh, backstab somebody. A lot. There's a lot of backstabbing. Uh, sometimes <laughs> well, the well, money's on the line. The I fact that you just over here, he'd be. I'll be front stabbing. People. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny though. Even when you just said, "What about Tony?" Tony goes, "No, no, no. Like, I don't want to talk about me, or I'm going to deflect." Yes, that's exactly okay, right. Okay, so socially, if we're out there together and yeah. I'm relying on you, I'm looking. I'm saying, Tony, man, he's like giving me the Heisman. He, that's I'm strategy. Not, I'm not falling for that. <laughs> I'm here to, I don't need to be the star. I want my team to win. Yeah, you're yes, dead. Yes, I would yeah. want to yeah. You're gone, <laughs> no, too. I'm gone. I'm gone at the front stab. No, I, I would want the, the team. The stomach front stab. He's I gone. agree with uh, you, Tony. And I'm, Nate, and Nate. Well, Nate is clearly the one who's going to be moving the things behind the scenes, for yes. sure. I yes. Mean, yes. But that's super clear. So then the yes. question is, who gets Tony? I think you become the linchpin because these two are going to be vying for it hard. Yeah. And you're the swing vote. Yeah. So the question yeah. is, Tony, who do you vote out? That's a great question, Jeff. And we need an answer. Let's yep. get a dramatic pause here, okay? <laughs> Nate. All right, Nate. You're done. Oh! oh <laughs> which means Gail wins, no, as I, predicted. I, I, nope, 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 nope. Good job, Gail. Nope, nope. I think... Poke in the back right there for you. <laughs> 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 nope, he would definitely win. Jeff, really, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to you. Bravo, Incredible Bravo, run. Bravo. Thank well, you. Yeah. as exciting as ever. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's, it's not done. And, it's and not in fact, done. that's the end of the segment. We're sticking around. Jeff, you're voted off. All you're right, gone. I'm out of yeah. here. See ya. Here's my mic. <laughs> 46 <laughs> is Goodbye, coming Jeff. up soon. Goodbye, Take Jeff. Goodbye, Jeff. <laughs> nice to have you here, Jeff. You can catch the season 45 premiere of Survivor tomorrow night at 8 Eastern right here. Where, Tony? On Paramount Plus and CBS. That's right. That's right.